Deer are a huge problem at the farm where Michael and I are growing our fruit trees for Fedco trees. Last August, we took a bud grafting workshop with another local farmer with much more experience than we have. Seeing the lengths that he's gone to to keep deer out of his nursery, we decided we're not going to mess around anymore, and we rented a three-point hitch PTO-driven post hole digger. We spent one Saturday digging the holes and going down in the forest to get some cedar to make the fence posts. This is probably the most fun Michael and I have ever had together. We both enjoy working with tractors, we both enjoy working with each other, and we especially both enjoy working with chainsaws in the woods. We had a lot of fun, and I've had a lot of fun reviewing the footage for this video. In fact, it's made me laugh so hard I'm considering putting together a blooper reel, though I'm not really sure I have to, because in this video I'm going to show you several mistakes we made, such as right now. If you've ever used one of these implements, you know we're putting it on completely backwards. Michael wanted me to be sure to let everyone know that this is the first time he's driven this tractor. I'm not sure why though, because he did a fantastic job. But the first time my father-in-law showed me how to drive this tractor and let me drive it by myself, I was terrified. I didn't grow up on a farm or have any farm or garden experience. Until I met my wife, who grew up on this farm, I never driven anything except a car. Machines like this can be quite intimidating, but Michael was excited to learn, and he did a great job for the entire day. Well, at least once we got the post hole digger on correctly. There goes John, I said we get him. Hey John, can you give us a hand looking at this? <laughs> Hey, dude. What? Where does this go? That gets up on the on the back here. Yeah. Is this upside down? I don't know. I'll bet it. I'll bet we just rotated 180 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? We got it on upside uh, down. Well, that's how I use jobs. Yeah, I think right this is correct. This probably goes really huge. This is my father-in-law, John. He's probably the most patient, knowledgeable person I've ever met. And he and my mother-in-law are two of the most generous people I've ever met. Together, they've been farming this land for over 40 years. If there's anything to know about farming, John knows it. And I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for their generosity and my father-in-law's knowledge base and his patience in sharing it with me. Anytime I have a problem, anytime I do something stupid, it's a guarantee that he's done it at least once before and knows how to solve the problem. You take this off like that. Okay. So it goes this way. You got, you got 180 degrees. You know, I was okay. thinking this way. Yeah. You don't use the top of the arm. Okay. You want to look right here. Okay. okay. And then when you put it's it on. Smart man calling John. <laughs> John just went by! <laughs> so so now when you like... put it on, you, you know, it's a little floppy, so you yeah, right. to tie it down as it goes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. You saved us. We're going to delete all that. Yeah. You yeah. saved us about an hour of cursing. <laughs> well, another hour of cursing. Hour. <laughs> uh, here, you want these?
by Baca. Dear Liza. Michael really wanted to make sure that the fence line was straight. I have to admit, I thought that was kind of a waste of time, but I am really pleased with how it turned out. It's nice and straight. As you can see, if you look down the row from the first post, you can't see another fence post. So it's nice and laser straight. It is really aesthetically pleasing. I'll give him that. <laughs> 